The ground weapons exhibition area grandly launched the Army Synthetic Brigade. The Army Combined Brigade solution was presented for the first time at the International Defense Exhibition in this airshow. It exhibits comprehensive coverage of combat support battalion, tank battalion, mechanized battalion, drone battalion, etc. which shows all-round and multi-angle, in-depth demonstration of the actual combat capabilities of the Chinese Army's weapons and equipment construction, the cutting-edge technology, and the advanced level of integration of production, research and manufacturing. This is the VT-4 tank, our old friend, at the past airshow. But this year, it has undergone a process of consolidation with many upgrades. VT-4 is an export version of the main battle tank independently developed by China. It was successfully developed in 2011 and officially appeared at the Zhuhai International Airshow in 2014. Since then, VT-4 has continuously received large orders and has become a star equipment in the international arms market. At the four corners of the turret, we have seen many small turret crane structures similar to sensors and radar. This is the so-called active defense system. As the king of land warfare, the tank has always been the main target of anti-armor weapons. In the traditional combat environment, the passive defense of tanks, that is, various types of armor, may provide some degree of protection. However, various military powers in the world, including China, have successively developed and launched different types and multifunctional active defense systems. The active defense system adopted by VT-4 is to form an active firepower circle at a safe distance around the tank to intercept and destroy incoming enemy missiles and shells before they hit the vehicle. Radar reconnaissance is usually used. After obtaining the interception target information, the onboard processors calculate the most appropriate time to use, and then initiates countermeasures to destroy the incoming ammunition. Of course, this kind of duel between speeds is still not absolutely guaranteed for successful intercept. Through further observation, it is found that in addition to the active defense system, in order to further improve the survivability of the battlefield, the VT-4 tank exhibited here is also specially accompanied with drones. Here is an unmanned turret of the VN-20 Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Leaving the territory of the King of Land Warfare, we went straight to the territory of the God of Battle. What attracted us was a self-propelled artillery that made its debut. There is the PLZ-52 tracked armored chassis. This is originally called SH-5, now called PLC truck-based self-propelled artillery. This one is called PLL, which is a new wheeled chassis self-propelled howitzer. The difference from others is that it uses a large eight-wheel chassis. Through years of development, China's big eight-wheel armored vehicle family has formed a system with diverse uses, many models with complete supporting facilities. It has also been exhibited many times at air shows. Why does this self-propelled howitzer with a big eight-wheel chassis surprise people so much? Its firepower was upgraded with 155 mm caliber. This is a 52 times diameter 155 artillery gun. The debut of the new wheeled self-propelled howitzer, on the one hand, the rich family of big eight wheels, with larger gun makes Chinese military products more competitive in the world arms market. The RS-5, as one of the rocket launcher models with the best maneuverability and the highest degree of intelligentization among export arms, can reach the battlefield faster. After years of research and development, China now has many models of rocket launchers, of which many not only have a good reputation in various international defense exhibitions, but also have a very good actual combat performance. In people's eyes, the SR-5 rocket launcher has the same combat effectiveness as other similar equipment. It adopts a wheeled off-road truck chassis, and a lifting self-loading system is set in front of the launch box. According to the data, in an emergency, a single person can complete the entire loading and launching process of SR-5. 
The reload time is about 5 minutes. In addition, equipped with various new ammunition, the SR-5 rocket also doubles its firepower. These are loitering munitions and kamikaze drones. They are actually capable of performing swarm combat missions. They can cruise on the battlefield for a long time, and then perform reconnaissance and strike according to different combat tasks. There is even a process of cooperation between them, and different types of ammunition and kamikaze drones can be used to perform different tasks. Then complete the control and combat of a rather large battlefield as needed. This development for SR-5 has actually largely changed the status and role of rocket launchers on the battlefield. Loitering munitions and kamikaze drones are also a hot topic in some recent conflict areas in the world. Such high-precision smart ammunition can naturally double the power of SR-5. At the same time, SR-5 also has a launch box for both rockets and ammunition, which can be loaded with various conventional and high-precision ammunition, even surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Reloading can be completed within five minutes. A single person can operate and launch high-precision smart ammunition. The designed launching box contains rockets and ammunition as twice as much as that of similar foreign products. The SR-5 will definitely make the enemy frightened in a battlefield. The FK series of anti-aircraft missile systems has become a new favorite among military fans. At last year's airshow, many military fans had an in-depth understanding of the FK-2000 air defense system in the FK series. This year, the FK-3000 air defense system made a stunning debut. Compared with the previous FK-2000, the FK-3000 is a veritable big guy, which is a mobile all-weather air defense weapon system. It mainly intercepts various types of drones, loitering munitions, and other low-altitude and slow-moving small targets, such as cruise missiles, armed helicopters and other targets. It can also firmly strike ground targets, and can undertake combat tasks such as accompanying air defense and key ground air defense. It is an all-rounder on the battlefield. It is a vehicle capable of fighting on the move, performing field combat as accompanying air defense missions. Different weapons and related means needed for sighting and arming are concentrated on this vehicle. It can ensure that we can detect incoming enemy drones and loitering munitions in time. Just after determining the direction, quantity, and characteristics of the target, we will choose the appropriate weapon to strike for intercept. It is a missile gun combination system with two different types of missiles integrated on both sides of the vehicle. FK-3000 air defense system is actually equipped with two kinds of missiles. Judging from the external magazines, the volume difference between the two missiles is not small. It should be anti-aircraft missiles with different shooting heights and different powers. So I can say that the FK-3000 has a variety of different missiles to deal with different targets. It can carry up to 96 anti-aircraft missiles to intercept enemy drones and loitering munitions. Equipped with a variety of weapons, it is true that the FK-3000 has more powerful capabilities. However, the huge body and concentrated weapon system can easily become high-value targets for the enemy to attack on the battlefield as well. This is a problem that cannot be ignored. In fact, FK-3000 is actually a combined manned and unmanned system. It can be accompanied with multiple unmanned combat vehicles. The unmanned vehicle also has an air defense system, which can also perform air defense and combat tasks. Such unmanned combat vehicles, of course, are not afraid of casualties. With a large number of FK-3000s to slave many unmanned combat vehicles can form an effective air defense network for army marching formation at a fairly large front. This could be a game-changer in today's warfare. It is evident to see that from the Ukraine and Russia war today. The FK-3000 system also has its own loyal wingman, like the upgraded VT-4 tank with active defense surround. 
The master-slave configuration, multi-vehicle networking, and appropriate tactics can greatly improve air defense coverage and battlefield survivability. This is really a stroke of genius.